boil. I haven't done a seafood boil in so long. So we have, um, I don't know how many pounds this is. I think about 15 pounds. And it, I googled it, pounds. and they said it's one pound a person, an adult, and now we we're at... <laughs> so two pounds, two, three pounds a person. What? <laughs> so we're gonna try to see if we can finish it. And I just want to say, look at this, look at this. Choose your player. Choose your player. Choose your player. Okay, I'm just... Yeah. I just wanted to be dramatic. You know those memes where you like want to throw your phone because you're so upset about something but you can't because you're worried that your phone is gonna break and you have to choose between being a drama queen or breaking your phone? You don't have to do that anymore. Also, I just threw Paul and Dan Dan's phone. I'm so sorry. Hey, no problem. There's no problem. But it's okay. There's no problem because they use Casetify phone cases. I just want to say, even when I drop my phone with Casetify, my heart flutters a tiny bit. I feel like it's ingrained in us to all be so scared, to all treat our phones like little babies, like they are so freaking fragile. But I have to remind myself that Casetify is just built differently. They have the latest technology of EcoShock in their iPhone 14 Impact series and it makes the phone case so freaking slim, but it protects your phone like nobody's business. The EcoShock technology provides protection up to 11.5 feet in the air. I don't even know how tall that is. And it's five times the military standard. Add to that, the case to five phone cases are made out of 65% recycled and plant-based materials, so it feels like it's just not gonna get better, right? But then it does because all of Case Defy's craftsmanship, their designs, it's literally the perfect balance between protection and sleekness and cuteness. It's like the type of phone case where it just like adds to your outfit. Like sometimes phone cases, they detract because it looks like a brick, but Case Defy, it's so freaking good. They do not play when it comes to that. And you know how women's jeans pockets are so notoriously slim and small and you can't even fit a chapstick in there? You don't have to worry because Case Defy's phone cases are so slim, they slip in to all of my jeans pockets all the time and I love that. All the cases are also MagSafe compatible so with a quick snap you can connect your MagSafe wallet or power bank and the cases are wireless charging compatible. Also speaking of accessories, Case Defy has like camera lens covers, screen protectors that are just chef's kisses. They also have these phone straps that are literally my favorite thing in the whole world. I wear them all the time when I'm out in New York City. You just put the phone strap and you walk around and it's dangling. You're going hands free. It's so versatile. I cannot get enough of it. So make sure to check out Case Defy linked in the description or go to casedefy.com slash biz to get 15% off your new favorite phone case. That's casedefy.com slash biz to get 15% off your new favorite phone case. And thank you Case Defy for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it, Sue family. Woo! Guys, we have a two camera operation going on. Hey. Okay, let's just dig in. I don't even okay. know. Before yeah, we dig in, what, what? no, no, dig in, dig in. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 I was gonna tell you guys the first debate question. Oh yeah, how are we gonna separate it while we eat? Oh, I is it? The sauce, the sauce is banger. Take the crab. There's so much crab on you. What the heck? Where is this from? It's a place called Pirates Boil. Mm. Well, the crawfish mm. is so juicy looking. No, mm. look at the head. Honey, you're getting. That's distracted. why they get the head on. Oh yeah. Mm. You don't like the juices? No. What? <gasps> And then it's like so much work. Mm. What? You don't like what? The head on shrimp and sucking the juices oh out of it. Oh my god, that's so... Well, you don't eat the head. But you suck the juice? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh my god. It tastes so much better with head on. Off camera, Tiffany and my fiance are here, but Tiffany has lost her voice, so can you say hi? Hi. That's Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> How should we separate the team? What about you three? Stephanie, Cindy, Andrew versus them three. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> you guys are not gonna partake? Yeah. We can split like four four. Does that mean there's no judge? Yeah. So people will be the judge. Yeah, oh. people will be the judge. Because every time we judge, people hate yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, people get so mad. Yeah. yeah. yeah they think we're biased. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we're just so dumb. We'll just <laughs> you four? Us four. Versus us four? four? Mm -hmm. Okay, then then, how do you feel? It's reasonable. The IQ is about the same? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's go. All right then, let's get started. The first debate question. Pay attention, I only say it once, okay? <laughs> Whoa. When you're in danger or in trouble, would you call your partner for help and put them in danger too? For example, you did a hit and run or you murdered someone. Will you call your partner, but now they know the crime? So either they send you to the police or they're an accomplice, correct? Mm. And then next to go to the home. <laughs> <laughs> he said no immediately. Mm. Wow, okay, then we take no, right? No. Okay, fine. You guys said no? 
Okay, rock, let's paper, do rock, rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Jason and Dan then. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot! <sighs> okay, you guys pick. Is that? Okay, so we go with no, we would Should not we call start? our partner. Wait, am I not sure? I mean. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Oh, but I think I would. Yeah. You would? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, man. <laughs> we will call our partner. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Like oh, I totally would in real life. Are yeah. you kidding? You think I could get away with a crime? Yeah. He no. could yeah. get away with a crime. <laughs> yeah. okay. well, what do you mean crime? It doesn't have to be crime. Oh. It's like, you, let's say you get kidnapped. Oh, what? Okay, no! Then of course That's I'll call not... someone. Oh, then yeah, we're on the right side. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what did you just do? If you're in trouble, we will not call our partner because that will put them in danger too. Yeah. Oh, I got a good one. What's a good one? I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> yeah. Partner will be your like partner meaning another. your girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, girlfriend. <laughs> then my partner is everyone. <laughs> my business partner. <laughs> business partner. <laughs> also, they give you boils at this place, like egg, boiled egg. Yeah. It's just egg. Okay. Oh. Yeah, egg. Let's do it this way. Each mm -hmm. team say one point back and forth. Can I give you a scenario in which we would call and which you wouldn't call? Sure, Maybe? whatever. I don't think we should say if we the wouldn't. scenario. Oh, wouldn't. yeah. Because that, that'll help them. Stephanie, you start? Me? <laughs> I think keeping secrets in a relationship is a really bad thing. Especially a big secret. Like, I imagine even if my partner doesn't get in trouble or anything happens, like, ultimately we would break up because I just can't keep a secret that big. They would either think I'm cheating on them or they would think that I'm doing something suspicious and I would drive myself crazy. Really? Oh. <laughs> me, me, you go. Okay, wait, my sister would like to go first. My, you already went. <laughs> yeah, then that. Be bumper. Man, this is tough one. I I'm trying to think. I'm actually trying to think. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you were caught. No, he's not. Yeah, but he feels like he doesn't have a point. That means, oh, means he, that he probably oh, would call yeah. your girlfriend. Yeah, I would call. <laughs> Which game are you on? Oh, like if I'm being honest with you. For example, mm -hmm. you know, asking for help. Let's say you're getting kidnapped. You have more chance of being free. Because you call your girlfriend? Well, right. Also, you have better chance your girlfriend get kidnapped again. Like with you. Yeah, like but both of you get kidnapped. Yeah, right together, you die together. Yeah! Right, right. Right. There you go. No, oh. ride or die. So what right if you die. have family, you have child? I have no chance. Well, if you have child, then if I got in danger, of course, so, I want my partner one. to save. That's a good point. Andrew, what do you say about you that? Can put both I have godparents. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What we'll wants to adopt okay. our children? So, yeah. Andrew, Even let me ask you. Without anything happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so, you can't trust godparents. I'm the godparent! It's not about godparents, it's about the child. If you're in danger, like big danger, you worry about Sophie and Mia, right? Mm -hmm. Would you put Andrew in danger too? If it increases the chance that I can make it out a yeah. lot too. Even having one parent gone is such a traumatic experience too, mm -hmm. that if that increases the chance that I can survive and he can survive, then I think I would. And not to make it a Harry Potter moment, but I'd be super pissed if my dad just let my mom die. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, like I would be like, but I don't even want be, my dad. Yeah, yeah right? Like, but your dad didn't let your mom die. Mm. Your dad just didn't know. He didn't know. Either way. There's a difference. I would yeah. let my dad. Yeah, but as a child, you don't understand. Later on, like, still, on, like, come. your dad still don't know like, what's going on with her, right? I feel like, like I would... You didn't call anything, you just mm. passed away, but, right? But the child will eventually come to find out that how the parent died when and they get older. You guys are making the uh, assumption that telling your partner is going to help. But the question is... The question is... You're going to get your partner into trouble. You don't so. know if they will help or not. If telling your partner will help, why don't you just call the police? Or call everyone else. Mm. They can help. Okay, but if you call your partner and you don't know that they can help or not, maybe at least you can tell them like, well, if this is it, this is what I want the re my children to be. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what I want for my children. No, I don't think that's the... The debate question is about like putting your partner in danger as well. Uh, it's not yeah, just no, I would, danger. but then I would call because mm. he's saying, oh, but what if they can't help? I would still call to be like, hey, I'm but in this situation. In that question, in that mm -hmm. situation, if you let your partner call, know, for example, Andrew know, he also in danger. You're not leave with one parent. But You're both parents gone. But how do you know? As soon as you call, both of you are screwed. But That's you don't the know they're screwed. They're That's, in danger. They're in That's, danger, yeah. yes. But, but they're then not it, dead. It also <laughs> increases the chance that you guys can make it alive 
if I there's think, two of you. But you could have called the police. But that's yeah. the whole point of a relationship, though. Yeah. You know, you guys gotta work through tough times, good times, together. It's a relationship. It's, it's a couple. I also it should think always be. it's yes, because I feel like my partner is smarter than me. Mm. Maybe it's no for you. <laughs> maybe it's a no for you. But for me, I would call you. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it's a no for me then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you committed a crime. Mm -hmm. Would you call Andrew? Yes. You you kill someone on accident. Let's say I killed someone yeah. on accident. Okay, I'm going to jail because I would not know what to do. I cannot dispose of a body. I cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. Like, but you tell Andrew, then he will have he responsibility. Knows. No, he too. knows, but like he doesn't. He didn't know until you told him. What are the chances if we get a good lawyer that Andrew is gonna? I'll, I could take the fall for it and be like, and, or you could just not tell him. And they're legally married. And just take no, the fall no, for it. And they're legally so yeah. Andrew cannot testify against her in yeah. court unless he chooses to, which he would not choose to. But you can't subpoena she thinks a I'm spouse. Dumb, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I don't I think know. you're dumb. I don't think you're dumb. I just think I'm smarter. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, who do you think is smarter? Do you angry? Do, I mean, do no. You... Answer the question. Yeah. What? Who do you think is smarter? Stephanie. Then, what the heck? Who do you guys think is smarter in the relationship? And what? You two? No, Paul and Tiffany. I can't say. It's a quiet place. It's obvious, question. okay? You <laughs> said it's obvious. I'm dumber. <laughs> what about Jason? Mm. He said he wouldn't call, so. No, but. Why? We do not need to Oh, he wouldn't call. He should be on our team. No, no. That's not how it works. Tell me, hey, that's. Where's your name? Hey, I'm Oh, hey, I'm he said, why? <laughs> he said, why I gotta call? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's a little bit different between guys and girls though. So yeah. like, as a girl, like when you're in that kind of situation, yeah, you might be putting him in danger if you're getting kidnapped and yeah. he's trying to come and help you and he might, something might happen to him too. But like as a girl, yeah. I feel like we're That's why crime. you have like a partner to help you yeah. in situ yeah. situations, yeah. right? Just because like physically we're just not as strong, you know? Yeah. So like, of course we're gonna call somebody for help. But for me, the reason, I think for me, I would think if I'm gonna put them in danger, then let me think about if there's someone else I could call that's better. With, before putting my partner okay, who in danger. Okay, who would you call before me? <laughs> who you call? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Tiffany. <definitely. laughs> and then Maybe, Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> and I have no idea where everybody went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Yeah. Stephanie might be yeah. like, oh no, oh no, no, what do I do? What do you want me to do? Can I tell my sister? <laughs> so realistically, okay. most likely everyone will call. Right? Yeah. You guys would call, right? No, I won't. <gasps> what? You genuinely you're wouldn't lying. call? If you were getting kidnapped, you wouldn't call? In danger? Why should I call? I, I, no, but you're I in danger don't. too. Yeah, I am in danger. If I know he's gonna be in danger, why should I call him? There's no point. So she wants to protect. Yeah. Oh, so you're that type of person. Yeah. <laughs> you're that type almost, of good people, huh? It's almost like if you call, yeah. you're putting another person in danger. There's no point. It's yeah. almost like selfish. But then I think right? about it. I'm in jail and he's just dating someone else now, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. What do you think about that, <laughs> Tiffany? That's kind of, you know, selfish kind mm -hmm. of thing, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like, if you really, you know, you love your family, you love your partner, you want her at least to enjoy the life, rest of her life, right? Ride or die. You know. But that's interesting because I would not call my parents because I want I want to protect them. Mm -hmm. But not but me. But partner is different. Yeah. Like yeah. you're my life partner. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like, like I wouldn't call my sister. Yeah. <laughs> but I would definitely call my partner. Yeah. But what if it's a hit and run? I always think about this. Let's say you're in the car. Mm -hmm. There's no street lights. Your tail lights and your front light, someone smashed it in. It's not your fault, they're not working. So you're driving and you hit someone that's walking on this road. They shouldn't have been walking on the road. Mm -hmm. What do you do? They're dead. I would call the cops. Okay. <laughs> but what, yeah. what if you're drunk? What if, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like in a situation you really can't call the Like cops. you, it's, it's your fault. Like it's your fault. And he's I out, mean, and if they're the walking conscious. on a road that yeah. they're not supposed to be walking on, then first of all, that's technically not my fault. 
and I don't drink, so that doesn't apply. But what but is? But yes. I don't know. I think I would still call because this it's not murder. What if it was a crosswalk and you didn't see? It's your fault, a hundred percent. You call the police, you're going to jail. Involuntary manslaughter. You're getting twenty years. Maybe you don't, I don't think you get twenty years. Oh really? Yeah. I'm gone. You're getting ten. No. You're gone. You're <laughs> but you're going to jail. Wait, is there a camera? I think it's camera. Uh, no, no, camera. No camera. No camera. Oh yeah. I'm no one sees. Oh, go. Okay, let's say you panic. Mm -hmm. Everybody here goes home. And now your car is wrecked. There's blood on your car. You park it in the garage. Do you tell your partner? Hell Ooh. yeah, I tell my partner. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm like, what What do I do? Help me fix this situation. <laughs> I mean, if I did that. But mm -hmm. honestly, I think you call the cops. I, I'd call the cops. Yeah, me too. And then like, you'd have that on your conscience for the rest of your life. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. how do you live with yourself? All right, let us know. Which, what do you guys do yeah. for the first one? Are we all just going to jail? <laughs> Second question. A bunch of <laughs> I know. How do we split up the team now? Okay. I got an idea. No? Uh-huh. Oh. How about everybody mm -hmm. chooses what mm -hmm. they want, and then we split mm -hmm. the teams that way? Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay. okay. Hopefully it's even. Second question. This is a very serious one. Okay. okay. Very tense. Is butt consider one body part or two body parts? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that, that the, is, that, is that really the question? You want us to have a serious debate over the us? <laughs> <laughs> While we're eating. You're kidding, right? <laughs> no, I'm serious. I say two. Who say two? There's three of y'all. Three of us. Mm -hmm. Three okay, versus five. Yeah. Alright, you right, you unibuts. <laughs> <laughs> you say it's one? Yeah. Can you lose the other part? It won't be a butt then. Then what would it be? So you can't, it's one piece. It can be two. Dude, if I lose my left butt cheek, my right butt cheek is no longer a butt cheek? Yeah. Ooh. But it's a butt cheek. It's a still a butt. Mm -hmm. You yeah. still call it a butt. You can't. It what do you call it? Complete. Then what do you call it? I lost left butt. I still have my <laughs> right butt. <laughs> <laughs> but scientifically, uh -huh. the gluteus is just one. There's only one gluteus. Okay, scientifically. scientifically. The full name for butt is what? Buttocks? No. Buttocks. Oh, no. It is. It's gluteus maximus, I think. Oh. Buttocks is the full term for butt, right? Okay. For the word butt, no, yeah. For the word butt. But yeah. there's, you and there's only an S have... at the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> but you only have one gluteus mm. but I have. It's two because if you're really good, you can twerk one and then not move the other. You know what I mean? It's mm. like, a, uh -huh. you can move this one, you can shake this one, and then shake this one. I mean, I can't, but someone can. <laughs> no. Left hand, right hand. There are two parts. Okay, but if you but, had, if you had no butt, and then one full butt, can you function? So here's the question. <laughs> well, like, well, can you ask you how many butt you have. You gotta tell that I have two butt. Yeah. You know, when guys refer to a, a woman's butt, uh -huh. they're like, that, <laughs> she has a nice butt or whatever. A nice it. butt. It's like one, you know. <laughs> you don't ever say, "Oh, she has nice butts." <laughs> <laughs> she has nice asses. And like, I don't think you can function like function with half a butt. Like with if you have like half a butt, yeah. One yeah. butt cheek. It's half a butt. No, one butt no. cheek. No, 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 no. It's no, half a butt. No, uh -uh. two butt cheeks make up one butt though. Yeah. Okay. For example, if you ask someone to send you a picture of their butt and you only see the right butt cheek in the photo, you'd be content. You'd say, "I saw no, her butt." Absolutely no, absolutely not. <laughs> That's like that's like you taking a picture of just the side of my face. Uh -huh. If you want to know what I look like, and you just take a picture of the side of my face. Okay. Well, damn. Okay. They well, have well. high standards for news. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's just get into the next one, yeah. So are we still doing the same thing of we all choose? Okay. A kid asked you, "My grandma made a cake, and it tastes horrible. Should I tell grandma?" Uh. Oh man. Um, is grandma like a? Does she own a cake shop or no? No, it's your grandma. No. Yes. Yes. I would like. Yes. Okay. Who say yes? I'm like a cake man on the mouth. Yes. You guys both say yes. 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 You guys are gonna race. Damn. Okay. Those kids are gonna come over and be like, Emma, you're ugly and your food sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, damn. Yeah. I don't know, but maybe grandma needs a dose of reality. Okay. You guys say yes. Yes. You know what? I say yeah. Let's make it fun. You get no. No. Then then no. Paul no. No. Tiffany, no. Honey, come on. I'll say yeah. Four, yeah. Four. You guys are no. 
Can I start? Yeah, you start. Okay, so right now, like my parenting style mm. is like I want the kids to be able to be honest about their feelings, mm. but not rude. And I don't want them to or to teach her to like have to lie about how she feels just so she can make other people happy. Mm. Because I feel like so that's good. something I struggle with oh, a lot. Me too. As, like my personality wise. So I just want to instill that, that's kind good. of teach her that as she's growing up. Hey, it's okay to, be you know, be honest, even if, well, don't be rude about it, but yeah. even don't, you don't have to worry so much about everyone's feelings, mm. you know? So it, you don't have to be rude. Yeah, you don't have to be rude, but That's it's good. okay to be honest. I love it. Sorry to go against you, but like, what Wait, if, the, what if I know, but like, what if, what? Start, what if they have a complex? Who has a complex? It's okay to be honest, just not rude. I'm not saying be rude and say, oh, this tastes like, hmm. Like, <laughs> what should they say? Grandma, it's a little too sweet. Yeah, or, you know, whatever. Whatever, like, it's a little too salty. Oh, like, that's next, big, or, that's next a, time. That's basically saying your cake is not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so but not rude. You're not being rude. You're saying, oh, next time, can you do this? Mm. I don't I think like it. it's bad mm. to be like, oh, can you do this next time? I don't think that's Yeah, I rude. think we want, guys. Yeah, that's true. And <laughs> it's your grandma. Because so, imagine on her deathbed and she's like, I saved all my energy to make you a cake, your favorite cake, and you're like, Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Okay, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Most of the time, yeah. what grandmas do, yeah. they yeah. cook, right? You know, they don't really go outside and like, you know. So, uh -huh. you know, they put so much effort and time for <laughs> them to feed you and just saying a, one good word makes them so happy. Mm -hmm. And I experienced this in the past, like. It's almost like a white lies. Right, right, right. You guys think you white lies is good? But you teach your children white lies though? Wait, you know mm -hmm. those people, bouncing off my sister's point, you know those people that are so assertive but they're so nice? I'm so jealous of them. Mm -hmm. When they say what they want and they set a boundary, yeah. and it's so professional and nice, mm -hmm. I really wish I was that person. Yeah. But instead, I'm always on the side like, no, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, me too. And I'm it's so like, jealous. It, it runs in the family, mm -hmm. I feel like. And yeah. so that's why I'm like making a conscious effort to try to not raise my kids like that. Because honestly, her feelings are just as important. Don't be rude and be appreciative of everything they do, but it's okay to express yeah. how you feel. No, you have well, a good point. Imagine you're the mm -hmm. grandma. Yeah. You made a cake. You spend all day, you bake, you shop the ingredients, you bake, you weigh the whole effort. Made that cake for a grandchild. He or she had a taste. She came back to you like, it's not it. Mm -hmm. This is tastes horrible. Wouldn't Sorry. you rather tell them the first time yeah. so that it never yeah. happens again? And then again? the kid doesn't have to eat that over and over yeah. and over again. Because grandma's gonna well. make it nonstop, making it her favorite cake. <laughs> yeah. no. And you're stuck for the rest no. of your life eating that. That's no. what happened to me. Yes, that's what happened to her. <laughs> yes. That's what happened to her because yes. I would be like, oh, oh my, that's, uh uh. -huh. And then my sister would be like, oh no, it's bashi so. I'm like, stop me, tell her. <laughs> and she's like, no, no, it's good. I'm stuck here eating like. <laughs> you know, Miyoko. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Miyoko? I like Miyoko. <laughs> no, one time he said he likes radish soup, and I swear to God, in LA for three weeks, we only ate radish soup. Yeah. And now, radish soup. Yeah, I have to like, ask them, like, why? Why should you cook it? <laughs> Because she thinks you like it. That's yes. what grandmas do. Yes. I swear to you. That's true. That's why if you don't say anything, you're gonna end up having to. Yeah. You just deal with it internally. Yeah. Okay. I guess yeah. you have to tell them that. <laughs> Oma. <laughs> it's time. Tiffany. Tiffany. <laughs> you guys were so passionate. Yeah. Earlier. What happened to that passion? It was just nice. I feel like it's something. Mm -hmm. To be nice. Yeah, you want to it's just teach what? them manner, right? Yeah. Be mm -hmm. polite, be nice to everyone. They're just mm -hmm. a kid. Like, mm -hmm. I think like grandpa, grandma. And, they... and I don't think it's a big deal. It will affect my life or something. Mm -hmm. The emotion support is more. I feel like it's more important than like it's yeah, the taste exactly. You don't have to tell. Really. You don't have to tell mm -hmm. grandpa, grandma well, to cake. It's awful. Here's, like your kid has to put their feelings before their own. Yeah, and I feel like a kid is more sensitive, whereas grandma, yeah. she's been around. Yeah, she, it's she's okay. She's like yeah. 80 years old. But, but the kid is growing mentally. Like you have to like teaching them, like instilling, instilling in them. Hey, it's okay to express how you feel. You don't have to keep it all bottled in and have to deal with all the emotions by yourself. Yeah, she is not. Well, but the don't, kid but is she not. Should the still kid, be grateful. The kid is not holding it in, right? He came to you. 
He came to you, tell you, my grandma is gay. It's mm. awful. Like he or she understand is not just gonna hold it by herself. He has someone to talk to. He asks for your help. So he is able to think, express his feeling. He just doesn't want to hurt other people's feelings. But what if that kid is a daughter and she grows up and she's got a creepy ass coworker who keeps bringing her cakes and she's been trained to just be nice? That's different. No, we're, we're talking about a kid. But that's grandma. grandma. Yeah. But yeah, they, don't, they don't know that. It's so instilled yeah. in their mind. So you can teach a kid, it's yeah. only for grandma. Tell, yeah. Ask me about grandpa and dad mm -hmm. later. Alright, so different. this is not your kid. This is a random kid. Oh, this isn't your kid? Yeah. Oh. This is not your kid. I thought okay. it was your kid. Just a kid. Yeah, it's just a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Kid. I am so This is the first time you saw this kid. Oh, okay. Oh, if, that's if it how was you a debate. random kid, I'd be like, go ask your parents. <laughs> <laughs> I would do this if yeah. it was my family, I would yeah. do the same. But what if they feel offended? Like let's your it's your best friend's kid. Right. You say, go tell your grandma. No, imagine you are just friends would be if I said it, you know, if you don't like it and you want to tell her, mm -hmm. just make sure you be you're grateful of, you know, you tell her you're grateful and you're not you don't you're not rude about it. I don't think they would be offended. All right, how would you say? How would you say to the grandma? I would say, Grandma, thank you so much. I appreciate the time and effort you put, but my taste buds are a little different, and it's a little salty. It's your not your fault. It's mine. It's my fault. <laughs> it's not you, Grandma. It's me. That's, that's... I think that, you know something like, Oh my gosh, you spent so much time making this for me. Thank you so much. Like. I really appreciate it, but next time, can you do you mind if you put a little bit less salt? Yes. But I think it depends on the like, like, <laughs> More love. <laughs> and be like, I think I would enjoy it more, but thank you so much. Oh my God. I don't think that's a bad conversation to have and a bad thing to teach your kids while they're younger. But what if you see your grandma once every three years? Then that's something like mm -hmm. you can kind of do. It's not, what if it's not an everyday thing? <laughs> so you miss her. <laughs> Bam, then that's she, she puts so much effort and time. I mean, why not just say, you know, like, oh, it was great. Thank you so much, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, every three well, years, you're going to have to eat that cake in front of her. It's just three years. That salty what? cake. Three years. Yeah, you but see, that, I think that kind of goes away from the debate a little bit mm -hmm. because I think I would have answered differently if it was like, if your child came and asked you, you're the stranger or your neighbor cooked this cake and they if they didn't like it, would you, would you, do you need to tell your child to go tell that story? Next that door. neighbor, <laughs> like that cake was gross. Like okay. no. I'm or your grandma's it. like have five days left to live. <laughs> <laughs> She's about no. to die. You're like it's amazing. Grandma, your cake sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, this there's is a, a time and a place for yeah. everything. Right, right. Like I'm just saying in general. Okay, not to go like off center, but like, what if that off tasting thing about the cake is like arsenic or cyanide or something? So you're, you're just, you're poisoning you, you never know. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be alert. Mm. You don't know who your grandma is. You don't know what she's up to in a free. You don't know who your grandma is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you just so took it totally like. How should I feel about your mom and? <laughs> you better watch the cooking. <laughs> you better sniff test everything. <laughs> so who, who do you guys think won this round? Oh man. No man, judge, no judge, no I, judge. I think it's tied. Yeah. Next one. If your boyfriend or girlfriend is hiding the fact that they're super rich or they're in debt, which one's worse? Oh, oh, what? That's so, what? Easy. That's so easy. Yeah. So easy? easy. Yeah. yeah, in debt. In debt. In debt. Rich. You know, you're, I'm going with rich. you're going with rich. Everyone thinks in debt is worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm going with rich. You're going rich. with rich? I go rich. Rich? What? Do you I go I go with I'll go with rich just for the sake of the fun. Okay, okay. So yeah, how is it rich? Okay, yes. Andrew, in line though. Because Okay, if you hide the fact that you're in debt, yeah, that's, that's freaking normal. I Everybody, think, I feel like that's that's anybody you're ashamed, would do that. You're However, if you feel or, like you're, or if you're hiding the fact that you're rich, you're greedy and I wouldn't say greedy. No, I, would say, no. I think that's more kind-hearted. No, I would say it's kind of more hard. of like. They're you trusting know, you. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, like. They're yeah. Trust me. Is, everyone, are they with me because I'm rich? Yeah. Yeah. But once they <laughs> do, you know. But in that is too easily persuaded. <laughs> in that no. is really selfish.
selfish because I mean the end goal of a lot of relationships is marriage. Yeah. Yes. In marriage, you're financially tied to that person, yes. so you're really screwing the person over without letting them know what they're getting into. And maybe there's some habits there that are going to ruin yeah. the relationship too. Well, how they got into debt is like very important. Yeah. Like the story. Like there are some reasons that are like, oh, I can mm-hmm. see how that happened. Or but like, then, like student loans or yeah. whatever. But mm-hmm. Who's on our team? Yeah. Just you by yourself. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like it's distrust me. That's really bad. She think it's, it's distrust. <laughs> yeah, I think more. <laughs> what, what, what is it? <laughs> what did you say? Distrust? Yeah. Hiding rich from me, why you don't trust me? That's why you're hiding it. Mm-hmm. I think I feel like that's human well, nature though. Yeah, because like I think it's know, human uh, nature to hide that you're in debt. You feel embarrassed. Like you when you meet someone, you're trying to at the beginning of a relationship. At the beginning of a relationship, yeah, you show your good yeah, side. Exactly. But I mean if you're into the relationship and you keep hiding your debt and get married, that's gonna yeah, then, and also with the, I think it's worse to hide the rich because after you getting a married, scenario? Yeah. Scenario. okay, so like a lot of famous like NBA players and celebrities, they stay with like their high school sweethearts and they go back to them. Okay, sometimes they may have some side tricks or something <laughs> on the side, but I it, thought most ul- of them ultimately, are not LeBron, not LeBron, ultimately, not LeBron. Ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, they stay with the people that have been there with mm. them since they were nothing. Amen. Okay. It's like that with a lot of people who have money because it's hard to trust somebody after you've come up from, you know, whatever. Are they dating me for my money? And how are they gonna prove that to you? Yeah. But see, it's it, for celebrities, it's, it's that much harder to hide the fact that you're rich. So what? <laughs> so, the, so for a normal person, right, that's mm-hmm. just out there, mm-hmm. If they're rich mm-hmm. and they have a relationship and they mm-hmm. hide it, don't you think that's worse than somebody in debt trying to hide it? No. Hmm? What are you talking about? No, yeah. no, Andrew, would it be better for you to find out your partner is in debt or they're rich? Okay, hold on. Like you're about to get married. <laughs> like what's a better impact on like you? In hella debt. I mean, and ob- you never knew. That's an obvious. I mean, obviously, I'd rather my partner be rich. Right. That's just. I got him right that's, there. No, right. That's, a, that's a positive <laughs> thing. That's a positive thing. Right. So why would you? But be rich? debt is negative. Hiding is a positive. That's what I'm saying. Good. Huh? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I don't necessarily think that makes it worse. But see, when I feel like people lie that they're rich. I feel like they're kind of just trying to protect themselves from getting hurt. Yeah. But when you're hiding that you're you, you have debt, then you're just what being you like no. you have a point? Damn. selfish. <laughs> selfish. We can't give up. We can't give up. <laughs> <laughs> think. Bro, you think? Yes, it's, all. it's over. Oh, what if he's in debt because he's been leveraging and buying property? It's good no, debt. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> But that's the why only good Why did you choose that size? Yeah, why did you choose that size? Just to make life more fun. <laughs> I'm trying to see the dark side in someone hiding that they're rich. Okay, so mm-hmm. you're in debt, but you fell in love with, you know, your partner or whatever. And you know that if they find out the reasoning behind why you're in debt, that it wouldn't work out. I mean, it, should you let finance that the finances hold you back from the person that you love? Yes. Yeah. Let's but say your business flopped yeah. during COVID. Unfortunate things happen to someone. Yeah, like really there like heart wrenching. Like I mean, honestly, I think it depends on the amount. It's gonna be a lot. Okay. Like Squid Game type. Squid oh game yeah, like Squid Game. game. Okay. Oh hell no. <laughs> we have the Squid Game type of debt. That's like four hundred million. Yeah, yeah collectively, oh, no. right? Not collectively. No. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm not gonna date someone yeah. who's like. I think it's like millions. Millions? Millions per person? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a... Wow. Yeah, no. That's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. Yeah. How, many, how many people here would go to an island with your loved one, just you two, and live there in like a paradise? No. Uh, Wait, no? everything okay. is there? Like everything? Everything. You like, don't have, have to worry about work. You don't have to worry about anything. Just no human. No I'm other human. human. You can watch TV. Yeah. You can play video games. You can Would you do that? Do, do, do everything. everything. Do you do that? By myself? No, with your partner. With your partner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you that's mine. You said you would never. You said you would never first. Yeah. You said I would yeah. fucking I know. Island? <laughs> Island? Just you two? Like oh, where no. you don't have to work and do anything, but no. you're stuck with me. No. Um, <laughs> Tiffany, Paul. All right. So they're internet, all right? 
there are just other the internet, people. yes. Everything. There are other Everything. people. There's no, no people. people. No people. No people. Just no. you with the love of your life. Does that not sound like paradise? No. That no. sounds That's like so hell. Weird. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Then then? Nah. No? Nah. How's that? Oh, life? no. Tiffany? No. You better quarantine. No, did no? That's like me and Stephanie's dream. Yeah. yeah. Every day. But you've been so you rather... every day. Right. Yeah. yeah you but there's that. no YouTube. Okay. But if we're just on an island with internet and books and TV. But no one produce but, stuff. No, they won't produce. You can't call me. No, there's everything. I can't call you? You can't call me to watch Sophie. Wait, I can't call her? No human yeah, interaction. Yeah, no, no human. Nothing. Okay, no, you can no do human, human interaction. Just you're on the island. Like you can't physically oh. see people, yeah. Like oh. you're trapped okay, so you on the island. You can't ever physically see Sophie. No. No. But we can text. Yes. I think yeah. that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Uh, no. The island yeah, is big enough, know. you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it gets old too. Because I've heard that challenge, people give money, put you in a room with everything, you're just gonna lock in the room for 30 days, a lot of people can't even do that. Well, I can do it by myself, but I can do it with him. Easy. Two yeah, people. we've been doing it for 9 years, so... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, going back to the debate. You can bring a person that you love back, Alive and a, and a random person has to go. Has to go. <laughs> yes or no? Is the random person Easy sick yes. already? The random person could be sick. Yeah, you can tell yourself that. Yeah. <laughs> like it's going to die anyway. Yes. Like yes. Die. Everyone no. dies. Yes. yes. It could be any situation. Yeah. Okay. I would. All right. Yeah. I'll say yes for the sake of it. Then then you said yeah, yes say earlier. Yes. I'll give a selfish version of why I say no. I can't live with the uncertainty. Like the guilt, I can't live with it. Mm. It's not even about the other person because it's random and I won't even know. But it's the idea, I'm gonna sit there and be like, what if there's a baby? Oh my God, what if it was this? What if they just plopped dead? Who even knows the process? What if like a dad was holding his baby and he just <laughs> died? And that's all me, that's all my fault. And then my brain will be like, it's gonna come around to you. I feel like everything that bad happens in my life, I'm gonna be like, it's because of that. Somehow it happened. The world works in funny ways. Mm. And I'm gonna drive myself crazy. That's an easy yes. Uh huh. And because, why? Because well, this is kind of sound mean. Let's say you, you know, the other person is gone. I mean, it has no effect on me. I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, like to be realistic, what did that person do to you? Like, yeah, what did they do to you? Why are they dead now because of you? Yeah. No, like, what? <laughs> what did they do for you? For you, right? It's like it's like the same question with the train thing. Like, would you save the one person or like fifty people? You'll save the f one person, right? You said save one person. Save the one you love. So yeah, you so, know what I'm saying, I know though, what you're right? Saying. You know what I'm saying? I think this one is a different beside the train situation. Yeah, yeah this one. You have attacked. to take. No, I think it's different because you have to take action to kill that person versus the train. You're taking inaction. And those people are dying. Does that make sense or? No, that makes sense, but. Just tell yourself every day you kill the serial killer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Just tell yourself that every day. <laughs> it could be a baby, it could be a child, it could no, be. No, 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 no. It could That's be. not what I'm it talking could about. Be. Yeah. You are, could you be. Just it's just how you look at it. You brainwash yourself? Yeah, I'm brainwashing myself. I, I killed the serial oh, killer. Even though you know the I, news, I, I you did kill the right the baby. thing. <laughs> no, I'm not watching the news from that day before. <laughs> <laughs> Would, okay, I'm on like the wrong side to argue this, but what if this is a thing everyone in the world could do? It's up to that individual to press a button and you know people are dropping dead and other people are being revived. Would you still say I'm not doing it even though my loved ones could drop dead? And That's what I was yeah. thinking no. too. Yeah. Is like, so if other people had the chance, do you think that they would? Like everybody would think they wouldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's the right thing to do. But if this is thrown into the real world, chances are, I would say a big amount yeah, of people like would. Because yes, you don't sacrifice yes. someone else's life for the person yes. that you love. But in human nature, we yeah. value the person that we love way more than everyone else. Yeah. Way more. It's not even in the same like scale. So if this person means the whole world to you, and then the other pe person means like, I don't you know, 10% of that. that. You yeah. haven't even Of that. course you, you will say yeah. this and person. You don't see that. But the thing is, it's, it is know, about conscious. If it's yeah. an old person, like an old grandma, like she know. passed away because yes. she's been through so many um, like sickness, it's so hard for her to go, in, like if I bring her back and she's gonna go through this again, there's no meaning for it. You don't have to bring back someone who's sick. You can bring back... Like, you don't know, okay. like it can be any accident. And also, you don't know what kind of person it will be back. Like what we would mention. It will be the it person you love. It will change. She might. She might. Or no, you can pick. he or she might change. You can pick person's life. No, they no, they want to bring back their grandpa. But there's no point for him to going through because he won't be y'all again. He's still gonna be that stage. 
and he's been through like okay, a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, so hard sure. for him and also for you guys to re go over the everything mm -hmm. again. There's no meaning. I feel like to respect a life is like let the life be it is. And he will always be in your mind, in your heart, in your family. Let the person go. There's so no Tiffany said, just move on with life. Everything yeah, happens life for a reason. Is, yeah. yeah. You already right. lived through it. But that's because you don't have the opportunity to press that button. Ooh. What are yours? What if there's a world where everyone gets a button, one button, for their whole life, and they press it, something comes down and they can revive their loved one. Everybody has that button. You have that button too. Other people are pressing that button. Maybe you lost a friend of a friend to that button. They just dropped dead and somebody else revived. You still would never press it, even though everybody's dropping dead and coming back alive. What, even if you have like kids and then like... Think about them. it this way. For, imagine your partner, your, someone you love, is about to die. You can press a button, you will save this person and someone else's dies. But you can save this person that you love. It could be your kid. You never do it. It could be your husband. In no like they're, they're dying. Like, who do you love the most right now? Bro. <laughs> 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 Paul is just it's dead just so struggle about like other people would die. It is. Yeah. yeah. Not I, them, okay. I, I don't think I would think twice. Like, I'll And also, I'm the type of person that I feel like everyone has their actual life. Su me. No. No, their fate. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like um, if it's in their life, then let it be. Like, if it's me, I'm so sick, I'm about to die or something, I would just let it go. So what I, if you got murdered? Yeah, that's in my fate. I can't change uh, it. Destiny? I feel like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I believe that. See, so that's what's interesting like, about it. It's like, when you we're in <clears> this <throat> mental state, we all can say that. But when your life is like, on the point, you're like, Yeah. Please yeah. save me, or, yeah. or you can save your kid, or save someone, yeah. Or, yeah. or change something. I don't care. Yeah, what the I process? will do it, yeah. whatever it takes. And, I'll, and then it's like, I will do whatever it takes, and I will go to hell and burn there. Yeah, you know? especially if it's like your kid. So like I, 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 I think I definitely would. Oh. Now, here's the question going back to Stephanie was saying, I think it's so yeah. fascinating. If everyone gets a button, you can press once. Yeah. When do you press it? Do you save that button? I save that button. Me too. No. So before you die, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> why do I feel like my mom would be like, let me save your button for you? <laughs> <laughs> Use it for herself. Okay, but if no one else can press my button but me. Uh -huh. When do you press it? I would save it until I have kids or a partner. And until they die, you press it. Would you have yeah. pressed yours already? No. Or your grandfather? No. No, because I think that's the natural progression yeah. of life. Grandparents yeah. and parents, yeah. it's gonna be heart wrenching, but yeah. that's like the natural progression. Whereas kids, when yeah. kids die before yeah. you, that's like something like that's like that's, that's really, really hard to grieve. Yeah, because yeah. it's not the natural yeah. cycle. Okay, of life. I will start a or start a bank. Everyone, let's say all eight of us, everyone give me the buttons. I hold it in the I bank. I don't know if I trust you with my buttons. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, okay. listen how it works. Okay. And if any one of us dies, we'll press one of the buttons to bring them back. So it's almost a guarantee on your own life. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But what if I don't care about my own life? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jason? Me? What if it's me? Do you press it? Uh, um. mm. oh. <laughs> he said, mm-mm. Peer Thank pressure you. right there. Thank you, Sarang. <laughs> Oh, Are those man. all the questions? Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, man. that was fun. That was fun. That was not as heated as I thought it would be. I thought it would be yeah. more heated. Honestly, I think I got the more, most heated with the two butt cheeks question. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We all have food combo. We're going to go lay down now. But make sure you check out Case to Buy. Link in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.